There's a reason why you're stopping yourself. There's a reason why you're staying stuck. Let's explore those reasons. Tapping gives us the, the freedom to do that. It allows us to calm down that nervous system so we're not freaking out as we look at these things. We can right. relax and go, what might it be? Oh, now that I'm looking at that, that's not so bad. You know, it's like, you know, the scene that like those cartoons about you see this giant shadow of a monster and then you find out it's just a mouse that the light is shining right. on at a certain angle. Yeah. And this thing is we're looking at these these shadows and as we go and explore, it's like, oh, oh, I, I could handle that. <laughs> mm. Yeah. No, that's really helpful. So the phrases, can you reiterate the phrases that you always try to come back to in tapping? Like the one, like I love and accept myself and just the kind of the things that you naturally come back to the positive, like after you look at the issue, then what do you say? Yeah. Well, and it, and it varies. There are, there are certain phrases that, uh, that I'll bring up, you know, it's like a guitarist having a certain riff that they might use in different songs. So I'll come up there. There may be certain phrases I'll use like, it's not because I'm bad or stupid. It's because I have programming trying to protect myself. Uh, I'll often, I didn't use it in this, in this particular um, one, but I'll often say things like, I'm a magnificent child of the universe, worthy and deserving of the best this world has to offer. And there is nothing that is too good for me. Mm. So that's one of the, my favorite phrases. It didn't didn't quite fit in. I, I never know when right. I start around. When we, when we started this, it's like, right. it's all right, like let's improv. see where it goes. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love that. It's fun. And you know, so just just playing with that, and and this thing is, you can't get it wrong. It's it's not. So don't ever tap thinking I need to say the exact right words. That's that's why I'm able to make so many videos because I don't get stressed out about making sure I say the exact right word. It's like I'm I'm just going to play with this and see what comes through. And I could take the exact same subject, you know, what you the the subject you gave me, and I would start tapping again right now and it'd be completely different. I love that. So it's, it's just allowing right. yourself to explore that. Right, and and so your advice for people is is if they're do, trying to do tapping themselves, coming up with their own phrases, it really is just an exploration, right? Absolutely. Just whatever's coming to mind. You know, why, just asking yourself, why might I be feeling this? How is this, how do I believe this is serving me? Why might I feel it's serving me? And we'll, we'll argue, oh, it's not serving me in any way. You know, I'll say, why, what would happen if you wrote your book? Oh, I'd be so happy and I could be more successful. It's like, hmm. Check again, because if that was really what you believed, you'd had the book written by now, <laughs> and you know, or whatever the goal is. We we sit there and we try to say, no, no, there's no downside. Well, then why aren't you doing it? Yeah. And it's not to blame or shame ourselves. It's like just getting curious. And I love the the Walt Whitman quote: "Be curious, not judgmental." Looking at ourselves and looking at our self sabotage. You know, like I said earlier, self sabotage is simply misguided self love. So why might I think that this inaction is serving me? How am I protecting myself? What am I so afraid of? What's the worst thing that could happen? And as we tap, we might see, yeah, that wouldn't be so bad. You know, <laughs> I, I could handle that. <laughs>